Uh, over the past year, just about everyone has had to figure out how to manage quarantine time due to close contacts or symptomatic cases of COVID-19. But for small business owners, those two weeks away from their work can mean a complete closure of business. And tonight's Your Money Matters, what a case of COVID-19 meant for one, Sioux, one of Sioux Falls' newest stores. We were just about to hit our one month anniversary. So it was uh, March 6th we opened and then April 1st I, I came down with COVID. Miranda Coltsy is not only the owner of Sweetgrass Soapery, she also makes all of her own products. But currently it's like 98% me. Um, my husband can come and help sometimes, but he also has a full time job. So when we were, when I came down with COVID, it was kind of a tough decision, but we just had to shut the whole place down. Coldsey thought her time away from the store would be an opportunity to make more products and return to online orders. When I first came down with it, I was kind of I was very optimistic. I just thought, you know, I'll be done with this in three or four days and then I have, you know, a full week to, to work and it did not work out that way. We were we were solidly sick for 11 days. While her customers and neighbors were incredibly supportive. We're very fortunate to live where we are. Um, everyone has been so supportive. The fellow business owners, even when I shut down, were, were reaching out to see what they could do. The two week closure oh, sure. so soon after opening brought a lot of concern. It was scary. Um, you know, we had a real moment of like, OK, what do we do? And, you know, it's it, beyond just me in the store. I have uh, artists that have their work in here and, you know, I have to pay them as well for their goods and their time and to be shut down for two weeks was really it was really frightening. But now the Sweetgrass Soapery is back open with customers returning in full force. It went really well when we got back, so it, it's put a lot of our fears to rest. Now, while there's no real federal aid for newly opened stores, small businesses that were already open at the start of 2020 can still apply for the PPP through May 31st or the SBA's idle loan program through the end of the year if the case of COVID temporarily shuts down their business.